Annotating the draftsman document using standard drawing symbols provides for a more complete, unambiguous, and clear documentation of the features. These symbols communicate the technical requirements of the product. This would include tolerances, roughness, and notes using callouts and text labels. The annotation tools can be accessed from the Place command menu, Annotations, or from the Active Bar panel. The callout in Draftsman is used to provide additional information about components and objects on board types. The text of the callout may indicate a component from the product composition or its parameter, a point of technical requirement, or carry any user information. In the Properties panel, you can not only change the display style settings of the callout, such as the type of ending, the symbol at the end of the callout line, and its color, the presence and type of the shell, as well as specify the source of the text for a callout. If the source is a custom text option, you can specify the text in the Properties custom text box. The border around the callout text can be selected from the border menu. When selecting the Note option, in the drop-down menu, select the number of the item referred to by the callout. When placing a callout on a component, it automatically selects the generated bill of material as the source of information and references it to the numbering of these components. When placing a numbered note or bill of material type callout, the objects referred to must already exist in the drawing. Selecting the Component Parameter option allows for the component's parameter to be used and displayed. Click on the desired parameter to display for the drop-down menu. In the Draftsman document, we can annotate the various board sections showing its defined region names. The region name is determined automatically from the PCB. Additional information in the form of notes can be added using the Note Annotation feature. Each note line can be edited and adjusted individually. As you can see here, there are many options for note entries. In the border menu, you can select the border style around the line sequence number. Use the buttons at the bottom of the selected element section to add a new item for notes. Move the selected item relative to the others or to delete it. Adding datums using the datum feature can further provide needed detail on the drawing. Placing datums allows you to specify the reference point, be it surface, object, or part of it, when specifying the tolerances of the location for some objects relative to others. The datum labels can be edited as well. Feature control frames can be added to provide information on features in the drawing and the tolerance and location of the selected object surfaces. Setting up the control frame is done via the Properties panel. The feature control frames should contain the type of feature being added, the feature dimension symbol type, the numerical value of the tolerance and its units. The additional fields allow you to add datums referenced by the object. The tolerance type is selected from the symbol drop-down menu. If necessary, you can place a diameter symbol or a square symbol before the numeric tolerance value. The numeric tolerance value is entered in the tolerance field. On the right, in the drop-down menu, you can specify the tolerance relationship with both the actual dimensions of the element in question and the dimensions of the base element. In the data menu, enter the name for the reference datums used for the tolerance. You can add additional feature control information for multiple types of tolerances on a single element by using the Add button. An important detail in the drawing is to indicate the roughness that any surface of the part or board has. The tool surface finish can be applied to any surface anywhere on the drawing. In the symbol menu, there are three desired surface treatment options that can be selected. Roughness method not defined, or when the surface should be formed by removing a material layer or without removing material layers. The value section specifies the symbols necessary to indicate the numerical accuracy of the roughness, the permissible surface treatment process, and the numerical limit of the surface treatment accuracy. The Allow Different Requirements checkbox adds a sign to the roughness symbol to indicate that the surfaces of several elements, usually other than those you specifically marked, have the same roughness. Using the Surface Lay and Orientation drop-down menu, the user can indicate the direction of the surface roughness. A center mark can be placed on a circle or an arc, after which the object with the center mark becomes available as a reference point for setting other dimensions.